Hey, Gwen. Any news? Not really. Sorry. Oh, welcome back to, to Let's Play Cognition. For the wise monkey case. Thanks to that thief, I've only got one. Fill out the form and it's all yours. I hope it helps you catch that awful woman. Wow, she was really earning that paycheck. Yeah. No, none of them were guitar shaped. This one's new. Interesting. I think she's confusing interesting with play. boring. Anytime. Yeah, of course it's new. Let also, we're giving out the only file on this. Why don't we photocopy said file? Oh, why do oh, they've got computers, so, you know. Why are we just carrying evidence around with us? Like, none of this makes any sense. Also, I forgot how to get the evidence form, so I first went to the wrong thing. <laughs> Why doesn't she have evidence forms at the desk and go, yep, just fill this out, don't have any there you evidence go. To look at right now. See, you'd think you'd go to the evidence thing to get evidence, but no, you don't. Yeah. So that's not how it works. Of course not. That would be madness. It's empty. Selling and then I forgot you way. can't access the case file from Erica's computer because you can only get it from Sully's computer for no reason. I don't need to request any evidence right now. What? And she just said, yeah, I don't need to request any evidence now. Yes, you do. That's the whole reason we're doing this. Ah, uh, nothing like a friendly interface. And this is not a friendly interface. Although, to be fair, I don't know why we need to request the evidence right now. <laughs> Were you playing this basically at this point by, hmm, I need to do X. Well, I'll try doing Y and see if that works. Uh, that didn't work. Maybe I'll try Z and see if that works. Well, it is going to become quite clear at one point in this uh, episode that I was just doing stuff because I could and with no clear idea of what I was supposed to be achieving. Can I say that's not too surprising with this game? It is the standard, you know, try every item on every other item approach. Yes, uh, as I think it was Yahtzee said, just rub things against things. Let's see what this gets me. You know exactly what it'll get you. <laughs> yeah, and did she really need to tuck it away in a shirt? She could have just, well, in a jacket, she could have just held it in her hand and walked it she, over there. She's a very tidy person. She's got to put it carefully away to walk those few meters Here's to the, the desk. Form. In her defense, people okay. are trying to kill her. Hang tight for a minute. At least I think they are. I don't think they are. They, the poison in her coffee just Hope made her a bit woozy for a while. I will. Thank you. That other woman, I is green, but here. also seems to have some I track marks. Yeah, she's very odd. Oh, we have a new location. Is that how you spell uh, Berkeley? I thought Berkeley was L E Y. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just guessing here. That doesn't look like a very big college. Right. Well, it might just be one building of it. There could be a whole bunch of other buildings. I suppose that's possible. And I couldn't remember why we were going here, but it's because this is where, like, some of the victims and the killer went to school. Uh, you must be ah. Special Agent Reed. I am. Thank you for agreeing uh, to meet this with man me. This man talks with these fingers. Of course. Yeah, yeah it's I a know. curious gesture, that. Just like, on a waggling his fingers at us for no reason. Kelsey Gardner. Oh, yes, the missing girl. Has she been found? Not exactly. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, what can I do to help, Agent? <laughs> <laughs> he has one hand just... Uh, is there something you need from my files, Agent? Uh, no. Sorry. <laughs> like, i got to give it credit that, yeah, that Agent. is something Hello, that Agent. you shouldn't be able to do, but why could I even click on that? What's the point? Yeah. Tell me about yourself. Well, I've now, the dean just of asking the Dean about himself. Why? So, I this is a pretty back terrible back school if they just leave their filing cabinet open well, like that. Courses. How much interaction do you get with the students now? Well, I make the effort to meet all of them at the very least. I still teach one course a semester as well, and of course a few students do their work study in the offices here. And have access what to the student files. Uh, not much, I'm afraid. I 
Try well, it is in his personal office, so maybe he locks it when he leaves. More than passingly, uh, she was brought to my attention while the police investigated. Her maybe he waggles his fingers Asking at them so they stop. Yes, uh, financial. <laughs> I was just thinking. Having said that. I bet we're going to have to sneak back in here when he's not here and get some files out of that filing cabinet, aren't we? Oh, I think it's probably quite like quite likely. Why not try to get a student loan? Uh, I'm not sure. I think she uh, tried, but she wasn't able to get one. Then what happened to her? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't understand what the point of any of these questions are. No. Why did she have so much trouble getting a loan? Well, you'd have to uh, talk to a creditor for those. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it's always an unfortunate situation. Mm, college doesn't I think this conversation no, structures could have been done better. College has cost to cover as well. I, I feel like you should have been able to go down the student loan one, find out what that there's nothing there, go Second back and do another well, question line. Yeah, or just like have the conversations just flow better rather than just having these arbitrary topics that you can just jump between. Yeah. Because it always makes the conversations very awkward. Uh, oh, yeah. She took one of my composition classes. So you must have known her from that. Those Why? classes are rather large, you must understand. Uh, now that I think about it, I do remember her being in my class, though she wasn't the most involved student. Other victims. I'd also like to ask you about two other Berkeley students. They were recent murder victims. Oh, yes, of course. Has progress been made in either of their cases? We believe they were the victims of the same <laughs> no. killer. Because it's got us looking for it. That and we don't know anything. I need to know if there was yeah, and before that it was Sully. Yeah. To school here. You, you really think she might have killed them? Kelsey? My God. I don't think what? you meant to discuss that you with people. Yeah, I don't know why we're just I telling him this. Know, but, uh, I'd be shocked to hear that about any we're not very good at our job. I'll help you however I can. Luke Jensen was a recent graduate. Do you know if he and Kelsey had any classes together, or if they were friends? Well, I'll check our student records. Uh, no classes together. They didn't live in any of the same dorms. Oh, here we I've are. been a university student. Like was they can't tell what anyone is in anything. In yeah. <laughs> those one -on -one sessions? That would have to be a, an uncommonly well-designed system for him to be able to just cross-reference like that. Yeah. Also, I don't think they're allowed to answer questions, are they, on such matters without... Yeah, you'd probably need a warrant, I would think. Yeah. Colleen Lavery was still a student here. What can you tell me about her? A bright young woman, very talented singer. Her death was truly tragic, and what was done to her was just awful. Any connection between her and Kelsey? Uh, no classes together. Although I guess, with the students being dead, maybe you don't need a warrant anymore, because their, you know, their privacy is no longer an issue. Yeah. Did Kelsey have any friends I could talk to? Don't know. To? It'd be complicated. I'd appreciate that. Uh, Homelin, uh, could you please contact the former roommate of Kelsey Gardner? Uh, Agent Reed would like to speak with her. Certainly, sir. I'll have her information ready for when Agent Reed is done. Did we introduce ourselves? Those are all the questions I have for now. Can you think um, of anything else? I think we're supposed to have been like, like talk to him on the phone off screen or something. Oh, okay. If you think of anything, contact me. Thank you for your time, Dean Chapman. Yes, of course. Uh, good luck, Agent Reed. Oh, we can just stand here awkwardly. Yep. Awesome. I'd be more surprised if he didn't have a few of these in his office. Wow. Is that cello signed by Yo-Yo Ma? Damn. And a guitar signed by the Beatles? That had to set him back a lot. Who's Yo-Yo Ma? He's a cellist. Oh, okay. I don't know about such things. And he's been on TV a bit. Isn't that one of those really swanky hotels in Dubai? I don't know. So, I guess the idea here is that the Dean is rich, suspiciously rich, perhaps? I don't know why that's suspicious, though. I mean, like... Well, I don't know. That seems like a fairly standard office. Like, you know, if you're a Dean or something like that, I imagine you're in the office for long enough that you can bring in some personal items. I left my card yeah, I think that's just... It's supposed home. to be, like, 
evidence that he is rich is like he's gone to this hotel in Dubai and he's uh, got expensive musical instruments or whatever. But like, I don't know why him being rich is meant to be suspicious at all. Well, you can't trust those rich people. They don't like the indie crowd, man. AFK. <laughs> Terence must be working the crime scene at the old South. God, Meeting I hate Hall. Terence. How'd she? What? Why is that the most likely thing he's doing? It looks empty without the big guy. Because this is still the same day. Well, yeah, but he could be at home. He could have finished up for the day. It looks pretty late in the day. Look at the way the light's shining through the windows. Yeah, actually, I'm not really sure what time it is, because, like, Erica got drugged, woke up, and then just immediately started investigating. But, no. like, it's got to be daytime, because, uh... Because the dean was in his office. Ah, oh, it says it's 6 o'clock there. <laughs> okay, I guess Agent it's 6 a.m. How can I help you? I wanted to say goodbye to Davies. Everything happened so fast, I didn't have a chance before. You know my rules, Agent Reed. No contamination and no private visits before I've finished my work. Right. The autopsy report must be happening soon. I have paperwork to take care of, please. Show yourself out. Sorry to interrupt. Once again, Gallagher is entirely reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> And I just thought I'd look around and see what else is here. Oh, a fire alarm. <laughs> there is no reason I can think of for doing this, but obviously it's, it's what you meant to do. Privacy. Now I need to get out of sight. <laughs> did you actually think that was going to work? I did not... I did not think... Like, I didn't have any idea of what it was supposed to do. But, but once I clicked it, I was like, oh, I guess we're sneaking back into the morgue then. <laughs> As if I'm not busy enough already. Should have expected it. I, mean, I don't know why we're not just waiting for the autopsy report. Yeah. I don't imagine, you know, in a case like that, it would take that long to make. Better move fast. Yeah, it would be a high priority. Hey, it's a fire alarm. You don't have to move that fast. Yeah, you would think the building would be clear for a, a reasonable amount of time now. Yeah, usually good for half an hour or so. Oh, the alarm stopped. How convenient. <laughs> oh, that must be Davies. What do you mean, must be? You know her. <laughs> Hasn't seen her in ages. He's forgot what she looks like, man. Sorry, I was such a pain in the ass sometimes, Davies. You were good. One of the best. I wanted to hate you oh, for God. closing that case, but you were right to do it. And if I hadn't have been so tired because I was still working on it, <laughs> I might have gotten there in time to save you. But I'm not going to stop until whoever did this is behind bars. I promise. Hmm. Free I'm sure she won't mind if I borrow this without asking. Why? Her neck Why are we taking that? Strangling to death. Small mercy. Gallagher did the autopsy already. I'm sure, we're going to get a lot out of this. Yeah, that's great. Uh, we get to see the thing that we already witnessed in person. Hooray! I've just gotten there sooner. What's that tattoo thing on her arm? At least with her eyes closed, she looks more peaceful. Yeah, I'll get to that in a minute. I just hadn't noticed it yet. <laughs> ah. Just trying to move my mouse all over the screen to find anything okay, that's clickable. The hot I recognize this now. It's the Greek letter Psi. I should compare this to the picture of the other tattoo and try to figure out what it means. 
I can save you the time. It's the same symbol. There. Uh, she didn't take a photo of that wrist. Nope. Sire is the twenty-third letter of the Greek alphabet. It is often used as a prefix signifying subjects that relate to the brain or soul. For example, psychology. It is also used in words relating supposedly supernatural phenomena, as in the word psychic, or the word scion. Scion is what Rose says people like her are called. Like, Oh, okay, I thought it was either the um, thing from the Matrix. <laughs> oh no, that was Scion. Sorry. Agent Reed, what are you doing in here? There was a fire alarm. Was there? I, I didn't hear anything. I was in the bathroom. The whole time? Hey, I don't ask what you do in there. Damn it, Reed, you are wasting time. Mine, yours, and might I remind you, <laughs> Agent Sullivan. Get your ass back on the job while you still have one. I am doing my job. If you don't like it, fire me. <laughs> don't tempt me. If I find you stepping out she of She looks like she's about to say, um, don't talk to, uh, talk to the hand, Bjorn. Yeah. <laughs> Get out there and find Agent Sullivan. Fine. Yep, in the whole city, go find it. Yeah, I can't... Like, on the one hand, yes, obviously she is wasting her time and not doing her job properly, but on the other hand, I don't know what she's actually expected to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm thankful you didn't click on the antique shop. Oh, I will eventually. <laughs> The landlord said her parents are paying the rent through the end of Kelsey's lease. Looks like they came by to pick up at some point. Kind of weird that they'd leave the place looking so... lived in, yet... abandoned. That's not really weird at all, though. But... What? Th there's just many questions to ask about this. Who's sending her a package? She hasn't lived here in months. This is addressed to Sully. What the fuck? No one could have sent it. It wouldn't be inside the house if, if they had. Screw it, I'm opening this thing. Yeah, well, we saw that coming. Puzzle box. Oh, I thought we were about to have a turn. <laughs> Who would send a puzzle box here and address it to Sully? I don't know, the killer maybe? Slow Damn down there, space I cowboy. These things. There's always some trick. But what is it? Let me yeah. see, you're psychic. Also, you know what the trick is? You cut it open because you don't have to do it properly. Yeah. You've already put your fingerprints all I'll over it. I just see a dozen other people failing. I need to see it open successfully. You could try anyway. Yeah. The most recent person put it together, so you might see them. I can't see anything. Damn it. That was just unhelpful. Yeah, I... Let's watch some TV. No cable box, but it does have a built-in VCR. Wow. This girl was old school. No, she's just sarcastically mocking the killer. <laughs> well, I was going to say, it had LCD chair, with um, built-in VCR. I don't this think anyone ever built that. Dorm room knockoff I've ever seen. It's a basement apartment, or garden level in realtor speak. Ooh. What's a cute little guy like you doing in a place like this? I'm surprised she didn't take it. <laughs> Maybe it is, in fact, nailed down. <laughs> Just an old, empty envelope. It probably had some business mail in it. So, we'll take that, though. Pick up anything that isn't nailed down, right? <laughs> I'd forgotten she actually said that. <laughs> the bathroom is pretty tiny, just like the rest of the place. That place know. is not tiny. That place is massive. That look at it. Like that was bigger than the place where you we lived in. Yeah, I mean, look, that's a full-size bed at the back there. You could easily fit like three more of those just in that bedroom things? area. Yeah. 
Oh, I thought her parents came and cleared this place out. Yeah, apparently they cleared out some Dear of Cassie, it, but not all. We miss you so much, sweetheart. We just want to know you're safe. We wanted you to have a place to come back to from wherever oh, it is you've gone. this explains it. Please call us as soon as you can if you find this. Love always, Mom and Dad. <sighs> Talk about depressing. DJ Abhorrent spinning on Fridays at Jaunty Abyss. Into the Woods, Spring 2010. Kelsey played Rapunzel. An evening of opera, March 2011. Her name's here along with Colleen's. May as well label this wall evidence A through C. George, did I'm we really need to read that out? I'm surprised this they had the restraint to, to not put up a poster for the voice actors band stuff. again. Yeah. There's no disc to play. That's a pity. So we're gonna have to come back with the CD later and play it in this, the only CD player in it's the world. It's got that roll right out of bed and into a cereal bowl kind of charm. What? Yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to imply. It wouldn't be worth the trouble. I'm surprised you didn't do it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like, why is it an option? Why? <laughs> Obviously, I think we're going to have to climb out that window at some point later in the game. <laughs> so obviously, we need to go back and find some way to activate the psychics for the puzzle box. Yep, and that, as usual, means going to visit Rose. All right. Erica, good morning. Not much good about what? it. What? Oh, it's geez. still morning. Dear, you look a mess. What happened? It's 6 a.m., remember? <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. And now I'm trying to find Sully before something worse happens. <laughs> oh, thankfully That's we didn't have to live through that. Thing. Yeah, I'm oh, so I was genuinely you. worried that we were going to have to hear if the plot recapped you again. Young man, don't you hesitate to say. Thanks, Rose. I'm not planning to turn down any help on this one. Erica, angry! <laughs> <laughs> Why does she plan to turn down help on anything, though? <laughs> Hey, Rose. Hello, my dear. <laughs> so what is it that I need to do to use that projection trick you taught me? Focus on three things in the room that are related to so the... So this is just one of the powers we got in the first her. game, so... And voila! I've completely forgotten how to use it. easy. So, about regression. Use it to access other people's minds and help them remember details to make them clear. Okay. Anything else I should know? This is very important and perhaps the most difficult aspect of regression. In order for it to work, you must touch, physically touch somebody. Hold their hand the whole time you want to be inside their mind. Don't forget that. I don't know why that's so emphasized, because like, There's something Erica just does it automatically. I was yeah. trying to get information from an object, but it's not clear. It's like I'm seeing static. Any ideas? Some items are rarely by themselves. There is a way to make it more clear. What were you looking at? Perhaps she just needs to wear some glasses. Number, but it's the wrong one. I was hoping to get the right number by using my power on it, but I'm not getting anything helpful. Remember how you needed more than one item to see that memory of Jean? It's like that. If you can find another item that was there at the same time, an item that shares that moment of history with this one, that's insane. May get what you need by combining them. Yeah. Convenient Maybe plot device is convenient. <laughs> I'm like... Finding their synergy? Oh. <laughs> yes, it would be much yes, better if she had a turn around and like, well, find no, you can't, because... Wrong <laughs> and bring them back here. They can't, you can't find something that was given wrong. Also, what is funny about the word synergy? So are you and John... It's a funny word. You, you should know. know that, Tix. Oh, no, no, my dear. Jean is a good man, but not the man for me, nor am I the woman for him. <gasps> no, I am a woman of certain faiths, and Jean, oh, as I said, he's a good man, but not a man of faith. He believed me when I told him what I could do, and that sounds even crazier than a lot of religious stuff. Of course he did, my dear. I did not mean that he does not have faith. Yes, he did. You yeah, no, he I didn't mean no he doesn't have faith, I meant he doesn't have faith. 
You said you've met people like me before. How many others? More than you might think. I have spent <laughs> many years looking for other Scions, and that search has taken me to many places. Oh, Please I'd don't tell us about, <laughs> about that, but I don't have time for a life story right now. Another time, then. Erica, for once, on our side. <laughs> I've been having an easier time with my powers. Well, except for what happened at the Old South Meeting House. What happened there? I'm not sure. I was running at the killer, and suddenly I started getting flashes. You're right, there's a lot of talking in this episode. To. Yeah, I it's... Control it or focus and that's when the killer Hopefully they're just front-loading all the exposition, that's so that. there'll be a lot less it as it goes on, it? but... <laughs> We can, I mean, we That's can just get on with doing useful know. things, like solving like the cases mine, and but it's not a memory. useful things it's like it hasn't happened in this yet. game. Odd indeed, but sometimes these powers we have expand without warning. I could try to help you focus on it to learn more. Oh, maybe another time. I can't right now. Yes! Woohoo! I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. So, out of curiosity, you've played for the rest of the episode. Did all that exposition help? I haven't played the entire thing yet, I've only played a little bit ahead of where this video goes up to. Oh, okay. But I'm quite confident in saying, no, it doesn't help, because it didn't in the last game. Yeah. We got the tape we stole, in the tape player we stole. We stole a blank tape. Yeah. See, I was confused because I didn't notice it was a blank tape, and I was like, I've put the tape in the player, now I will play it, and... Uh, no, I can't do that. There's a blank tape in it. <laughs> we, we stole a blank tape. That, I, I would have thought the FBI would, if they've got tape recorders around, would have blank tapes. Yeah, Gallagher must buy them somewhere. This is the one. Lucky for me, she wasn't using the same kind everyone else does. I can't even remember what that's in reference to. Oh, uh, we need the pen to go with the hmm. paper so that we can get the phone number. Oh, that was a pen. Oh, I thought it was just a flower. Bold yeah, no, it's just got like a filing. puffy bauble on the end or whatever. No! Yes, unfortunately we need Rose to teach us how to use our new psychic power. Hold them both together and use your powers on them at the same time. It should give you a clearer image, show you the memory that these things... Why don't we just get Rose's phone number and call her up when we have problems? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. Well, why don't they just pop up this tutorial text and we just not talk to Rose at all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be acceptable. Uh, look, I can understand that they've wanted to make it all integrated in the game, and it's more immersive, etc. Yeah, but... Uh. Yeah, it just results in so much pointless dialogue. <laughs> yeah, so our new psychic power is we can use it on things in our inventory. Helpful. I don't know why that needed to be a new psychic power. Yeah. Six one seven five 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 one three four two. Uh huh. Okay. I'll give this to Agent Reeves and she'll be back. Six one seven. Do we actually have to pay attention to that and remember? Because no. It's working. Uh, fortunately. I got the number. And they say synergy's just a buzzword. Do you think if I combine even it more is. items, I can make a memory clear? See more of it? And it's still not I funny. Think so. If you had a number of items that had been in the same place at the same time, that'll come in handy. Yeah, like you could go to a whole desk and remember everything that happened. So now we can phone Cordelia, which seems like a useful thing to do at this point, when we're supposed to be investigating our co-worker's disappearance. Hello? Uh, hi, Cordelia. This is Erica Reed. Erica, hello! I'm so glad to hear from you. Sorry it took a while. I'm glad you came by, though. I wanted to talk to you about something. I was just on my way to visit my brother, in fact. We 
could meet there in half an hour? Sounds good. See you soon. This is the crazy woman we met in the, um... Yeah, from the cemetery. Yeah, cemetery, yeah. Why didn't we exchange phone numbers at that point? Uh, who knows? I... Also, seems like we could probably have just, you know, gone to the cemetery because she's always there. Yeah. The bell. Combine the bell. I guess we need more charms to be able to see the solution to the puzzle box for some reason. Couldn't we combine them with the puzzle box? Yeah, I tried that. No, you can't. It doesn't work. <laughs> but why? I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, the way it works is that psychic power is only for things in your inventory. You can't, you can combine, use the other power to use on things in the room, or that one to use on things in your inventory, you can't do a combination of both. Yep, yeah, okay, so. <laughs> I don't know, it took me a couple of, minutes, a couple of seconds there to process that thought. Yeah, it does not make sense that... What's the arbitrary distinction between things you're carrying and things you're not carrying? It's almost like when they were writing it, they've gone, Oh, you know what's really cool? Having more powers. We've got to have, like, 20 powers. And they've gone, they've gone oh, well, yeah. we've got this power, we could make it two powers. Yeah, so like they've introduced three powers in the first episode, and I'm guessing they're gonna, there's going to be an extra one in each of the other episodes as well. Yeah, I see. Uh, I... I, I don't mind the idea of building on powers and going, right, you get, occasionally get a new power or you find a new way to combine powers. Yeah, but like, like maybe start with one in the first episode. That's it. Because like, there's not going to be enough puzzles to use all of the powers in every episode. It's just, it would be impossible to do that. I think an interesting thing you could do is ha say at the beginning you pick a power and of course you'd have to go through and do multiples of the puzzle, but oh yeah, have actually have different ways to solve puzzles. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it, and then that would be your base power. So you might be, a, I don't know, you got to touch things to things. Another one, you you can do something else, whatever. The weird thing is they did that, but in the most pointless way. Like there's the thing where uh, you can choose to either have John or Sully go with you into the interrogation, and that changes the puzzle slightly. Yeah, but like. That's that's not like good gameplay. That's just meaningless choice for the sake of choice. Yeah. Whereas if you made it this way, like a deep down thing of, well, you're you're this sort of person, so you solve it this way. Yeah. Like yeah. which power you chose would determine like how you have to go about solving the thing. That would be yeah. an actually good addition to the game. Yeah. And you'd make people play your game three or four times. Yeah. Yeah. You get a lot more value for money out of it, assuming that it was actually worth playing several times. It, it would be interesting to see Steam stats on this overall, and you know how many people play it for more than ten minutes before going no. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are actually achievements for doing things the alternate ways. Like uh, there's one for accepting the coffee and one for not accepting the coffee. Yeah, I remember mentioning that last time. But that. Uh, What's the it point? doesn't change the plot, so like, you have you specifically have to just replay it just to get the achievement. It's like they've gone to put this online, and someone's gone, "Oh no, you don't have any achievements." <laughs> <laughs> and then they've gone, "Oh, uh, okay, yeah, no problem. We'll 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 we'll, we'll put in some achievements." Yeah. Well, I think more likely they've just put the achievements there to make it so that you will play it twice, like. But they haven't supported that by actually changing how the story plays out. They've just said, yeah, your whole reason for replaying it is just to get the other achievements. 